Hey there YouTube, this is Maintenance Mouse. I'm going to be talking to you about gap power right here. Um, dealing with magnetic amplification and neutralization. Race one of the test numbers real quick. <laughs> Alright, so what we have here is a permanent magnet. Reds north. Blue will be south for the permanent magnet. Same with this permanent magnet, south, north. And then your electromagnet, which will be powered by a AA battery. North facing down. You have your north on that side. North facing up. We now have north facing up and south down. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm just clearing the uh, charge that the iron core here has um, picked up from the electromagnet being on. What I'm going to do first is actually test the strength of the permanent, permanent magnet, um, which the uh, magnetism will flow through the iron core out to the other end. Um, that is not all the time. Um, if it was a smaller magnet, the magnetism might not pass through if the magnetism is not strong enough, but this one is. There we go. North. All right. Now the way we're going to test this is by using this bearing, skateboard bearing, and these two cups. do is just hook up this metal steel nut let's see got it on there all right we're balanced here everything is line okay just gonna take these nails and, and just feed them in one at a time until the nut uh, breaks loose and then that'll be our our strength for the permanent magnet and iron core well we're not going to count that one It's not going to stay before it was. We take the four. Tear. Put the four in. Six point nine nine. All right. Pretty close to the last test. Go and take that out.
going to do is um, right now we have a um, we have energized the core. So what I want to do is is clear it. Um, what happens is whenever the um, when a magnetic field is introduced to steel, it will become a very light permanent magnet. Pick it up here. Now once I clear it, by passing the north across, the magnetism is no longer there. Align it. Magnetism's there. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just clearing it to uh, hopefully get a, a nice clean test. Let's bring now for the permanent magnet, I mean the electromagnet. Put your north facing down. I have it wound so that north would be facing down. And balanced or I have it balanced and then I'll just start feeding it here So we have 12. Hit tear. Seven grams. Now, um, now we have a base for the permanent magnet strength through the iron core, and the electromagnetic strength through the iron core. Now, this is the amplification part. When you have your permanent magnet and your electromagnet, both facing in the same direction. Set up. Both are connected. And balanced and uh let's go one two three four five six seven 
Tear. I'm not going to count them. <laughs> Just going to go ahead and dump them in. We are at 76.65 grams for both. So permanent magnet by itself, 6.99. The electromagnet by itself, 21.57. And then both of them together, together, which would be your magnetic amplification over at gap power, getting 76.65. Working together wins. Now, Now we have our both still working together. And we have your metal, the metal here. And what I'm going to do is take this out, reverse the polarity so that the electromagnetic, electromagnet is north is facing up. And what this is going to do is your neutralization, your magnetic neutralization. Now, for all systems, um, you don't you don't need this. You can go with amplification, but that's later. So, uh. Once magnetized, it, it became too strong, became a permanent magnet, basically. So let me try this again. <laughs> All right, find something. So we have the north. North. And I'll just switch it. There we go. That's that's your neutralization. So there was one th more thing I wanted to show you so you can understand the linear aspect of this um, permanent magnet going back and forth, his generator. Let's see. Thanks for sticking with me. I know on YouTube, pages are short. All right. Out the way. Let's see. 
here. Take your alligator clips I have connected to the common. Common will hook up to um, the north side. And then we have connection to your negative, your south. This is for the generating aspect of it. If you go to the website, or when you go to the website, you'll just see, you'll see a device flashing on the home page in the upper right hand corner and you'll see, you'll see this device just shooting something back and forth in the middle of that thing sliding back and forth is a permanent magnet and what that is doing is actually charging the coil um, you'll have to get into for, uh, more of his uh, videos to get a, a, a clearer explanation which he does a great job at don't let me deter you because he is way clearer than I am so anyway, typically what we're used to, what most people are used to, is that when a magnet passes your, your coil here, it'll start producing electricity. And we're, we're used to seeing it in a circular motion. That's why it's very confusing, just passing by. Let me see if you get it decent reading on there okay but the ways that his works it's not that it's passing by and, and producing electricity whoops his is not passing by maybe I should go with the uh, <laughs> not so strong magnet. Let's see. Now what his is doing is coming up or back and forth and introducing and removing the presence of the permanent magnet this way and producing electricity not what we're used to with a generator which just goes circle round and round and producing electricity. So if you understand that concept, you'd be better off. Now the faster the magnet goes to the coil, the or the faster the uh, magnetism is introduced, the more power it will actually produce. Let's see. I do slow. Not so much just moves barely but if fast shoots up that's what I'll switch over slow introduction There we go, 100. I'm not sure if you see that, but. Anyway, hopefully you get the idea.